G'day flatties and globe defenders, it's Critical Thing from Down Under and I'd like to give a shout out to me mate, where's Wally, he's helped me out again he's uh, converted my P900 to be able to work with infrared so we'll be doing a few pickies with that now where's Wally, he's a great bloke, he's unable to get out of the house a lot so um, I do a few observations at, at his instigation and uh, he helps me out with quite a few things he's a great bloke as i said and you should go to his channel i'll put a link to his channel in the in the description go to his channel see what he's got subscribe he's uh, very technically proficient and he comes up with some interesting stuff on his channel but today anyway big thanks again where's wally and uh let's have a look at the ir conversion I'll let Where's Wally talk your way through this because he knows much more about it than I do. Okay, thanks Critical Think for that nice little wrap. I'll do this as a really quick little once through, but if you want a screw by screw instructional, pop over to the video, link provided below. Main thing you want to do is remove the battery first so you don't fritz the electronics. Then you've got to run around and move, remove half a dozen or so screws. There's two in the on the back under the under the LCD, there's two on the left side two on the right side, two inside the flash, and then there's also the two back screws on the quarter inch mount at the bottom. Once you've got all them, you should be able to pop the little screwdriver into the little slot at the back in the flash and then pop the case from there. It should all be ready to drop off then. Then there's the little flat flexible cables inside at the back and you just pop the two little restraining clips on the circuit board and those leads will pop out. Now you've got the back separated. Once you've done that, you can undo about half a dozen aluminium little screws on the aluminium plate, and then that should just lift off and you lay it over to the left. And once you've done that, you should be able to undo the three screws that are holding the CCD. And once you've done that, you just fold that CCD over to the right. And I use the drinking straw and just apply a little bit of suction to pick up the IR filter without having to touch it with your fingers and drop it into something where you can keep it because you never know, you might want to put it back one day. And now from this point you just basically control Z yourself all the way back and put everything back where you found it. And good luck with all of that. A blow by blow on the other video if you get stuck. Thanks guys. Well done Wally. Now we get to some of the pictures. It's, um, this picture is taken from Mount Cutha lookout and looking towards Brisbane City and this is uh, an interesting I'll come up with another video that has uh, this uh, pictures like from this place at Mount Cutha this is a very special observation point and uh, I know the uh, flatties think that infrared will save them, uh, but unfortunately for them, um, it's going to be their undoing in this case, because um, you can see much more clearly. And I'll give you a hint. There you can see a little bit more clearly where the horizon is. So here's... Um, there's a Ferris wheel in Brisbane and one William Street, or otherwise known as one big Willie, uh, because of the unique shape and design of uh, that building. And uh, wonderful, wonderful shot of the uh, Brisbane CBD. And now the magenta color is the way the P900 does its infrared. Uh, you can see the horizon and those are uh, Morton Island and Stradbroke Island in the background and there I've changed the color on that one so it's just black and white and people like black and white a little bit better and that's the uh, a similar picture just with the normal uh, filters on the camera uh, you can see it is clearer in the distance with the infrared. Uh, it does cut through the haze a little bit better. And there's another wonderful shot to the left of the city. And there's a close-up 
picture of uh, the one big willy and you can see the island behind it and that's a another close-up with ordinary filters and no infrared and here's a shot I took at night time so you can see still see the lights the moon peeking through the clouds there and uh, so you can still make out the horizon uh, it's dark but you can still see where the horizon is and as I said before the flatties think that this is their holy grail of long distance viewing uh, but little do they understand that the further we can see the rounder that the earth becomes thanks for watching